Welcome back to the Tidarium Hangar. This is Mike coming at you with a quick video review of the KO version of the MP36 Megatron. This is a masterpiece Megatron and I have to say that this version is an exact one-to-one -one scale replica and was done extremely well down to the back kibble and how bad that that was. They didn't even fix it. Didn't fix anything on it. And uh, I'm gonna do a quick review, talk about it, uh, show some comparisons, and show the box. Then I'm gonna show you uh, kind of my ideas on what this really is. Because they, it's called a KO, they call it a KO, but I'm gonna show you some things that make me think it's something else. Stay tuned to the end when I share my final thoughts and I'll reveal what I think it really is. This, so there's gonna be three versions and I'll show you the other versions, but this one has the die cast feet. And um, just like the original one, all the paint apps are the same and I've had this thing for about a week. It looks like we got a little paint chipping already down there. So I've had this for a week now and the only thing that I see that's different, it looks like the pelvis is a little lighter than the rest of it. This should be the same dark color as the rest of it. So that's the only thing that I see that's different than the original. Uh, aside from that, it has this, all the great articulation, all the die cast where it needs to be. Looking at the box, so for a KO, especially for a modern day KO, for them to actually use the Takara Tommy, that's an interesting point there. It has the long life design that uh, people have been complaining about making the boxes look bad. And uh, the picture looks good. It's not elevated like I'm used to seeing on Masterpiece boxes. I'm seeing raised picture in the front. This is not as perfectly flat, uh, but really a great box. You've got the reflective paint on there. And on the back, of course, you have all the different little functions. And it's a direct one-to-one -one copy and comparison. Actual size. So. Before I get into too much more about this guy, I do want to tell you kind of the past and then uh, we can go into the future. So the past is MP05 and you think about it, it's kind of a strange, this clunky thing. Okay, so it gets, MP05 has got a bad rap and you know, if you think about it, you, you see how big he is, uh, but yet he's got skinny legs, he's real wobbly, he has no support for his own self, and I really can't make him stand with his cannon, so he, I have to pose him without his cannon. Uh, so I'm happy to actually get him standing, because with his cannon, he'll fall over and topple over. But MP05, MP01 was Optimus Prime. Everyone knows that one, I think. But MP02 was the white version of Optimus Prime, which is uh, kind of the old school way of making an Ultra Magnus. And then MP03 was the first 9 inch figure, which was Starscream. So they made him in the funny looking color and they already scaled them down a bit I believe I don't actually have that one uh, no nor, nor do I want that one then um, MPO4 was the uh, Optimus Prime with his trailer so they re-released him again the trailer so 05 and then you get the last of the 12 inch figures uh, so the good thing about him is he's 12 inch and he stacks up next to your MPO1 uh, or your 04 and then your Ultra Magnus but then this guy is stable. I just bumped him. I'm trying to keep this guy alive. So then, this is all you had in Masterpiece, in the whole Masterpiece world. And then, till Apollyon came out. Now, Apollyon was the best thing going when he came out. I don't like the kibble on his legs. Uh, and, and until I got the MP36, I didn't realize how his torso here was so off compared to the cartoon. I thought he looked kind of spot on in the cartoon. Uh, and I thought the same thing about MP01 Optimus Prime, that he was spot on to the cartoon until MP10 came out, which MP10 has its own opportunities too. So at the time that Apollyon came out, you had Apollyon and the Combiner Wars. And I actually was thinking about just cheaping out and buying the Combiner Wars for 50 and putting it on the shelf, but I kept the Combiner Wars one in the box. And so this, this guy here, He's got the shiny uh, paint on him, which I think is pretty cool. But this is really your only option for a long time for the 9-inch scale was either the Combiner Wars or Apollyon. Then you had some other competitors come out that they did okay, but I still think Apollyon uh, matched the uh, 
cartoon aesthetic better and was relatively clean in the back uh, up top but not below the legs just there's too much going on but uh but man so we'll get the mp36 his legs are smooth and this is the ko version of course uh, the legs look good the waist looks pretty good the back part is bad and so what well, i'm going to show you a couple of the other versions of the kale that's coming out and they are going to have one of them is going to have this back piece just a flat back piece that you can put right here and it will just it will clean that up and you'll have the best one so ultimately i'm going to be kit bashing so you've got the japanese voice chip Looking for the LED in it. So when this shipped, I didn't have any, uh, I didn't have any plugs in it, which is great because I don't have to rip them out. That had batteries; it worked straight out of the gate, and I was really pleased with all that. Uh, some other stuff I want to show you is that is that this thing actually has the the symbol painted on it. Uh, so this is the one that's going to be really hard. Uh, to replicate because that you need a pasting for that sticker is really not going to replicate that well especially on an uneven surface and it's painted um, you don't have any orange tips in the barrel I haven't tried to see if it scrapes the paint on the barrel but I'm sure it does uh, just like the original one but right now I gotta say I'm pleased with this guy and I'm gonna show you some uh, pictures of some other ones Okay, so this is the Infinite Transformation uh, KO Mitron. This is the one that is going to have the extra back piece. It's going to have the English voice chip, theoretically. It's going to have a crimson. Um, actually, I don't know if this one has the English voice chip. Uh, I'm going to have to research that a little bit more. And anyway, this one here, uh, is I'm going to end up kit bashing with this one. Uh, I think that the pelvis is going to look a little bit better, but I don't really like the squiggly line of the pelvis. In, in the in the MP36 and I was kind of hoping they would fix that one for this one but this one is uh, one of the ones coming out we also have you can buy just the upgrade kit right there and then you of course we have the toy house factory version the toy house factory version is uh, another competitor that's coming out there and it's gonna it will have the English voice chip in it which I would much rather have the English voice chip uh, I would be I'm going to kit bash my KO into exactly what I want. But as you can see, with all these other competitors that are coming out, the chest piece does not have the pre-printed Decepticon symbol on it, and neither does the um, worn one, the uh, battle damage one. So that's those are the pieces that will be the hardest to get uh, aside from, I mean, yeah, you can slap a sticker on it, but it won't be the same and it won't have the same quality. Uh, and so... But they all look like they're going to be one-to-one, -one, and I really do want that back piece to clean the back of mine up and have uh, what I consider a perfect uh, Megatron P36. Next, I kind of want to show you what it looked like in a display. Uh, toss them in here. Really makes a great centerpiece of the display. Uh, really works well and brings the shelf together, kind of what Apollyon tried to do. He does it so much better, and you really want to put him right in the center so you know who's in charge. Starting to build up a 12 inch shelf too, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do a video about it when I get a few more of these guys. But you know, there's uh, there now a lot of the KO upscaled ones, and I'm really that is the upscaled uh, KO Orbitron Bruticus, which I like, and I don't think I need another one. Uh, none of these other third parties even interest me. Uh, that's the MPP 10, and then you've got the him looking uh, pretty powerful next to the really weak and flimsy uh, MP 5 uh, and then of course you got the MP one that started it all, and then a gold behind it. Here he is next to Galvatron which is the DX9 version and I really uh, just think that it really works out. It looks good. Uh, you can kind of see how he will transform from uh, one to the other. He does have all the detail on his face when you pull the face piece off uh, to when he turns into uh, Galvatron when that works out. There is the metal plate in there to give it a little bit of weight in the face. Uh, Takes a ticking, a licking, keeps on ticking. Final notes. Uh, basically, I want to tell you what I think this is. I think this is the same thing that we had with a lot of the run with the KO hot rods. And it was either factory seconds 
which uh because i did notice on mine there was some paint flaking on the foot which i'm sure they could have touched that up and still sold it but uh either factory seconds or that uh, after they hit their allotted production uh quota for the mp36 the official one that came out within days of these hitting the market that they just put just mass produced extras and sold them out of the same factory because i really think these came from the same factory because uh and the thing that really gets me is the way they got the paint exactly right on on the chest pieces uh that's they got this paint just right i, I just don't see any company just being able to come along and copy that that perfect and to not get in trouble for it i mean who's gonna get in trouble for this uh who's takari tommy gonna go after for a direct one-on-one i mean you th think they would do it for infringement right uh, I think I, I, I ended up buying what I thought was a KO. It was really just a factory second. Uh, Tigerium hanger out.